député de Saint-Laurent, Cotiville. Monsieur le Président, le ministre n'a toujours pas répondu à Sheila Fraser. Je lui en donne l'occasion. Qu'a-t-il à répondre à la déclaration qu'elle a faite à la suite des attaques grossières du ministre contre le directeur général des élections, et je la cite, « Cela ne rend service à personne, cela, cela sape la crédibilité des institutions. En bout de piste, si cela devait continuer, nous en paierions tous le prix parce que plus personne ne ferait confiance au gouvernement, au directeur général des élections et au système démocratique. » Que répond-il à Mme Fraser? Madame le ministre de l'État. Monsieur le Président, nous pensons que c'est raisonnable de s'attendre à ce que les Canadiens apportent leur identité quand ils votent. Euh, maintenant, ce n'est pas nécessaire d'apporter une, une pièce d'identité à une photo. Euh, il y a 39 options euh, parmi lesquelles les Canadiens peuvent choisir. Et euh, la loi sur l'intégrité des, des, des élections va obliger Élections Canada d'informer les Canadiens de ces options pour qu'ils puissent tous voter. The Honourable Member for Winnipeg North. Yes, Mr. Speaker, it is not appropriate for the Minister of Democratic Reform to verbally assault the Chief Electoral Officer. Mr. Speaker, that is wrong. The minister owes not only the chief electoral officer an apology, he owes Canadians an apology. And I look to the prime minister to demonstrate leadership, and he should be asking his minister of democratic reform to apologize to all Canadians and the chief electoral officer. And my question specific to the minister is, will he do the honorable thing, stand in his place, and say sorry to the chief electoral right. officer today? The Honourable Minister of State for Democratic Reform. Mr. Speaker, uh, the member criticizes, criticizes my testimony without citing a single word of it. I suspect he has not read it, as he's probably not read the Fair Elections Act. If he had, then he would know that what we're proposing is that people present some form of ID when they cast their ballot. There are 39 options from which they can choose to do that. It is fair and reasonable to expect that they would. And, the, you know, Canadians agree with us on that point. The Honourable Member for Mal Peck. Mr. Speaker, this Minister's conduct yesterday was a disgrace to Parliament and to Canadians. Dealing with this Minister is like playing chess with a pigeon. He flaps his wings all over the place, knocks the pieces off the table, messes all over the table, then struts around like he won the game. <laughs> I know it's a Wednesday. I don't know what was in the coffee at caucus this morning, but members are getting a little over the top. I've asked members before to hold off on using animal references. I don't think they're helpful to the course of debate. I didn't hear a question, but I don't know if the minister wants to respond or not. The Honourable Minister of Democratic Reform. Well, I'd like to give the member some credit for creativity. Although I think he's confused the games, uh, he's playing charades and not chess over there. Uh, the deputy, Del